I almost made a very big error in my career decision and I almost stuck at the netball but luckily I made the decision to give rugby a crack and went along to my first training. I'll never forget standing there with this oval shaped ball. Like I'd never met these women, but they were so happy to see me. <laughs> like, new players and, and getting growing your team is so important. Um, this year I was lucky enough to debut for the New Zealand team. And so fast forward 12 years, that, that debut game, we're all just looking around at each other like, bro, look where we are. Like, I'm not sorry for getting emotional because I care, you know. Women's rugby's grown so much and now if you play good in club, like, you can become a pro now. Like, become a professional rugby player now, you know. So if a young girl rocks up as an 18 year old, you know, this is my first experience of women's club rugby and there's no woman's changing room. So it actually has a, an effect on those girls and so clubs that put in that extra effort, you know, they've got New Zealand female representatives, designated changing rooms, there's designated toilets. I promise you it does nothing but uplift your club. It's a whole nother dynamic of fun, camaraderie, and you know, epic legacy really. Um, so the facilities for the women in the club actually is a huge statement you're making to New Zealand.